I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open up your Xbox One S and how to clean it up if it's overheating. If you're getting any message that it says Xbox overheating, this video is for you. First thing first, you wanna flip over down your Xbox and you wanna look at the back panel. In the back panel, you're gonna see a tiny label here. This is the warranty label. You know, you don't have to remove it, but if you want to, go ahead. What you need to grab yourself an opening tool, a flat screwdriver or something like this. I'll try to find the link on the, for you guys for this one. Anything that is really hard or flat screwdriver, really big flat one. Next, what you want to do, you want to stick this one right at the, between the bottom uh, chassis and the top chassis or tray. And you want to just twist it like this. Do a little bit on this side. Now, you don't have to do too much on the back end, just a little bit to let the stuff loose. And the next is to do the same thing on the side. On the side, you want to stick it right there and you want to just with a little bit of force and you're going to hear those clips getting loose. There, there, there. Okay. You want to do the same thing on this side. Put it right there and twist. A little lower, about three, four centimeters. And then I'm, with this finger, I'm just keeping it open. There, go all the way to the corner. And that's it. Now, make sure you do this side all the way down. I, don't, I think I forgot one. No, it's already done. So what you want to do, you want to put it back down because you don't want to lift it up because it's all not losing in the front end. The front end, the same thing. Grab it right here and just do that one over here. Grab it this side. There. There we go. And that's it. It should come out pretty easy to the side. There. Now we have the bottom case all loosened up. All right. And next thing is to grab yourself a screwdriver. I'm using an iFixit tool set because they have a really nice set here. And we're going to be using a torque number 10. Where is it? Right here. TR number 10. I love this set tool set because the bits are really hardened so they don't go bad anyway we're gonna remove all the screws that is we're gonna remove every screw on the bottom and the longest screws are the label with an F so remove all the F screws they are the same size and then remove the rest of the screws they are the same size too so all the screws the big ones are labeled with an F1 F2 up to F6 remove these ones and then the small ones are the same, this size, and they're all the same. So let's go ahead and unscrew everything here. Oh, that screw fall down there, so don't worry about it. All right. Also, we need to remove these four um, black screws too. And these are with that is a torque number eight. Once we remove all the screws on the bottom, we're gonna flip it over. All right, next is to grab it from the back side of the console right here. So you wanna put your fingers just like this as you wanna open a can opening position. What do you wanna do? You wanna pull it up like this, pushing with your thumb and pulling this side up. You wanna do the same thing at the same time, just like that on this level. And then the bottom cover, bottom thing is gonna fall off. Then remove the top plastic. And right here, before we remove the top plate, this plate is loose, but we're not gonna remove it. We're gonna put it to one side, and this is the Wi-Fi board. We're gonna remove the Wi-Fi board. 
So with the same screwdriver torque number eight, remove the three black screws for the Wi-Fi board. Once you remove it, simply just grab it and there's a pull it up. There's a this jack right there, so you can just pull this jack up. Now we're gonna go to the front end of the console. I'm holding this cover so the everything won't fall off, so I'm holding it. And we're gonna remove one, two, three, four black screw. They're the same size. There we go. Now what you're gonna do here? We don't want to lift it up this way, otherwise we're gonna break it up. You want to lift it up, put your fingers right underneath here, and pull it up from here. That's there is a jack. But if you pull it up from this end, you're just gonna bend and break the board. All right. Now next is to grab the remove the top cover. Just pull it up, and we're gonna start removing the components. First thing has to be removed is the hard drive. This one is an upgraded SSD drive. You can see my other videos where I just show you guys how to upgrade your console to a SSD drive to make it much faster. So grab, lift up your drive with a caddy and pull up the cable for the power. Just pull it up and remove the SATA cable. Make sure you pull it evenly up. Don't pull it on the cable otherwise you're gonna break the jack. Put this to one side. Pull out the power for the DVD drive. SATA connector for the DVD drive too, just pull it up and lift up the DVD drive. There you go. To remove the power unit, it's a little bit tricky, not too tricky. You need to use a screwdriver. Oh, it's, it's faster this way, also, let's call it. Put it right there. So I'm just gonna, or you just pull it, hold it, pull it up with your hand, let's say. So pull it up. With your hand, let me put it in a position that you guys can see. You want to pull it up. What are you pulling up? And you want to push this trigger towards the jack. So it can let go of the contact. So that's why you push this one. So it opens up right there. So you can pull it up. And then just go ahead and lift up the power unit. It feels like it's holding, but it's not holding. There's a three tiny plastic that goes right there. So you just have to pull it up. That's the power unit. Now that we removed all the screws at the bottom, we can just remove the motherboard. But before we do it, there's a tiny lock here. We need to remove this lock. This lock can be removed really simple. Just put a flat screwdriver right there and just pull it up. The tiny clips in there, it just goes and holds it from this corner. Uh, once you remove that, the rest is really easy. You want to grab it from this corner, put your hand finger right here, and then lift up. Oh, also remove this plastic, it will come out or just remove it first, and then pull up this from the heatsink up, front end up, and then the back IOs will just get loose. All right, now we can put that to one side. We're gonna work on this one. You wanna grab yourself a working towel. What do you wanna do? You wanna flip over your console. And now we're gonna remove this bracket because this bracket is holding the uh, heat sink toward the CPU. This bracket, to remove the bracket, you need a flat screwdriver. I'm gonna use this flat screwdriver right here. So what you want to do, you want to put the flat screwdriver right in here and you want to push it toward this other end. You want to hear this one just pop open. If it doesn't, you have to help it out a little bit, just like that. Yours might take a little bit more wiggling around, then I'm gonna stick it right in there. I'm gonna push it this way in order to uh, let go of the other side. So I'm going to help it out a little bit. If it's not coming out, don't worry, you have to keep trying. Don't force it too much. Just do a little bit back and forward.
There you go. So now we got these two ends out. Okay, there's my screwdriver right there. So we're gonna do the same thing for this one. So I'm pulling it towards there, and look, that one just came out, and it came out pretty easy. Yours might have to do a little bit of more wiggling around, but you pretty much have to get these hooks out from underneath these screws right there. So there's a tiny crack right in there that this thing go and grab it from there. So remove the X clamp. Oh. Also you remove the contact for the fan, the jack right there, pull it up. And now you can just go ahead and lift up the heat sink. You can go ahead and uh, start cleaning it up with the air can or compressed air and clean up the old thermal paste with a working towel and alcohol. Has to be a 99% alcohol isopropolic alcohol I guess I don't know how you call it just clean it really nice and shiny and what you want to do you want to do cleaning same thing on the CPU go ahead and clean the die you don't have to clean the whole chip as long as you clean the crystal right on the CPU and GPU you're fine just clean it do a few pass just like that Now, what you want to do, you want to grab your new thermal paste. I'm going to use an Arctic Silver MX4, Arctic MX4. You want to apply a, a one drop right in the middle, just like that. That's more than enough. It's going to spread around. You don't need to put excessive. Not always more is better, neither too little. So what you want to do, you want to Make sure once you put the heat sink in there, you don't lift it up again. Otherwise, you're going to have to clean it and put it again. Otherwise, because you're going to get an air bubbles. So align it right in there. Make sure you put it evenly on top. Don't go squishing from one side. Otherwise, you're just going to move all the paste to one side. You're not going to have any paste on the back end. So the heat sink has to come straight down. So you're going to go straight over the CPU. And once you go there, hold it just like that. Let's put it on a table, pushing on the middle here where the CPU is. You want to grab your X clamp. You want to hook it up right underneath on this one here. Position it in the middle over this one here. You're going to use your thumb and you're going to push it in here and you're going to hear a click. There. Now the hook is in place. Same thing on this side, hook and press down on this one, the hook is right there. Now the heat sink is in place and make sure you put the fan connector right in place too, just like that. And now we're going working backward, grab the bottom tray, put the I.O. side down first, all the way in, bring it down. Make sure it's all the way down. On this end, make sure the USB connector is all the way down. The plastic has to come from the other side down. This plastic has to show from this end. And so does the other corner. When you see those two plastic all the way down, that means the board is nice and flat inside the case. Now we got that in there. We're going to grab the lock. This lock right here. And we're gonna place it right in there. Just place the lock in there. Grab the DVD drive. Put the connector for the SATA, the power connector in place, and just sit it in place. Move it around, make sure those two plastic things go to the holes right there. And this one goes right there. Where is it? This one over here. And the next thing is to go in the same order. The power unit, these three contacts, they have to go right there. So don't put the cable first. First, set it down, make sure it's in place. And then put the cable right there. And well, my fingers are really big, so it won't go there. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to just push the contact in place. 
there you go. Now the last thing is to put the hard drive in place. So grab the hard drive in this position, open it up, put the power connector, it won't go the other way around, only goes one way in. Grab the SATA cable, plug it in, bend it over and make sure it's going right through the, it sits nicely. These plastic things have to go in. Also grab this front cover, plastic. These are the trail for the longest screw go through. So grab this one here and just put it down. There's a tiny grooves right here. So it has to go right over those, just like that. Put that one in there. Grab the top cover. Put the top cover right on top. Make sure the holes are aligning. Now what do you want to do? You want to grab the front panel. You want to put your finger right here, just like this. And you want to connect the, push it down. Make sure it goes all the way down. Put the four screws. All right. We're going to do the same thing for the side one. The sideboard is the Wi-Fi board. Grab the Wi-Fi board, push the jack in, put the three screws for it. I think it's a little too obsessive to put three screws. Only one screw can do the job, but I guess wasting material is a good thing for these people. But yeah, so once we have that in, we wanna put it face down. We're gonna put the bottom screws. Remember all the C ones are the short screws. Grab all the short screws, change your bed. All right, change back your bed and put the black screws for the X clamp right there. All right, now that we got all the screws down here, we need to put the biggest screws. In order to put the longest screws, you need to put the bar top cover in. So flip it back down. Grab the top cover. Put down the front end all the way, slide it there. And then bring down over the top cover. Make sure it goes all the way back. Now, this is the tricky part. Make sure the back is aligned and push it down the middle only. While you hold in the middle, if you see this gap right here, it's not going through. And on this one, it just went through. But if they both are the same, doesn't matter. You wanna, what you wanna do the same way that you open it up, you wanna open it up. Let me see if I can get you, show you guys this thing here. You wanna open it up and you wanna push this one halfway through and you wanna close it. Same thing on the other side, but this one is already aligned and nicely in place. Now you can put it fa again face down and put the long black screws. These are the labeled F1 up to F6. There's one empty spot here, so it does not offer a screw to go through. All right, once you got all the screws in, the last step is to grab the bottom cover trail and make sure where the USB is and the sync button is has to go in front end of the lap and the I mean laptop the Xbox the console put it right there and then we'll bring it over is gently make sure it's nicely aligned every corner once it's aligned you want to start pushing it down from the sides all the way to the back, to the corners. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, it helps out. And if you guys have any questions, you know where to leave them. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.